Stage 18 of the Volta a España, a transitional stage making its way through to Catalonia towards the Andorra with a few big days in the mountains still to come. A rarity in this year's race, the destination Laida, a stage without a single categorised climb. 186 kilometres, the 17th visit for the race into Laida, a day ideally suited to the sprinters. With a slight cross tail wind throughout the stage, the race got off to a quick start. Three men in the breakaway, Jetsu Bowl of the Borgos BH team, the best placed in the general classification, almost two hours and 50 minutes behind the red jersey of Simon Yates. Therefore, it was the teams of the sprinters doing the chasing. Lotto Sudal in the breakaway with it, Yellow Valais, and for UAE Emirates, the former under 23 world champion, Sven Erik Bistrom. Back in the peloton, the chasing was being done by Quickstep and Bora Hansgrohe, with some support also coming from Trek Segafredo. A day ideally suited to Sagan, Viviani and just perhaps Giacomo Nizzolo. The breakaway never getting much more than two and a half minutes advantage, heading through the intermediate sprints. It was Yellow Valais collecting the points and the small time bonus, but the green jersey still rested on the shoulders of Alejandro Valverde, also in second position overall in the race for red. Inside the last 15 kilometres in the breakaway, just looked like it might have stood a chance, but still the teams of the sprinters appeared to be composed. With 10 kilometres to go, panic started to set in. Bowl was dropped and it was down to two out in front. Bistrom and Wallace communicating clearly with each other. It was a combined effort at the front to defy the sprinters. With a kilometre to go, Wallace got cold. He sat the wheel and he was risking losing in pursuit of victory. Peter Sagan launched early with 350 metres to go. Bistrom was leading out the sprint in front, but it was Yellow Wallace licking his lips. Tactically perfect and so strong in the process. Snella Yellow Wallace collecting the win. I worked very hard uh, to be selected for the Tour de France. That was uh, for me uh, uh, no selection and uh, then I worked very hard to the La Vuelta for a stage victory and here it he is. <laughs> Everybody expects him as a sprint, but I know if I'm good, I can surprise uh, many riders, and uh, today I did it. No doubt the winner was happy with the result. It was Bistrom in second position, followed by Sagan, then the pre stage favourite, Alia Viviani, was in fourth. No change inside the top 10 in the race for the red jersey. Still Simon Yates leading 25 seconds clear of Alejandro Valverde. Enric Mas is the next best at a minute and 22 seconds behind. It's off to Andorra for the first of two big stages in the mountains. This one, a mountaintop finish with an altitude of more than 2,000 metres. The stage, 154.4 kilometres, just the one climb, but it is a monster. The battle for red will resume as they head to Andorra. Yates tries to defend ahead of Valverde.